plain white helmet, all black shoes, classic navy jersey with just a number on the back. These are the signature items that make up one of the most recognizable and traditional uniforms in all of college football. Penn State, you think, well, the plain jersey, Penn State hasn't changed their uniforms in 25 years. Well, we actually have Michael Robinson when he, when he got drafted by the 49ers. He goes out there and he's like, Spider, our stuff's old and junky and heavy. He said, I didn't appreciate it until I got away that, you know, that the old Penn State plain uniform actually is uh, pretty unique. Equipment manager Brad Caldwell, fondly known as Spider to his Penn State family, says the technology behind the uniforms and equipment has come a long way since he began working for the team as a student manager in the 1980s. Since I've been here, it's amazing the difference in the technology of the game. And basically, from 25 years ago to now, everything is lighter. It's lighter, stronger, faster, uh, to put it simply. And it's and that's what the players are looking for. The players are looking for, they want it to be light, thin, uh, but, but protective. Caldwell says that the material in the jerseys and pants is a key factor in player performance, and researchers continue to come up with lighter, more durable models. The material now is called uh, what we use in the pants, and I can even show you here. The pants uh, is an example, and this, this material is also in the jerseys, but it's a, it's a, it's a Cadora nylon blend, okay? and it's called high tenacity nylon. And these pants, you can actually take these and put them in a bucket of water, pull them out, and you can't wring any water out of them. It doesn't retain, so sweat, rainwater, doesn't hold any weight, so it doesn't increase in weight. Head injuries are a huge issue for every player from the high school level all the way to the NFL. Caldwell says helmet designs are improving to increase player safety. I mean, helmets never change for 30 years. Helmets were almost the same style and same kind of thing when they finally, about six, seven years ago when Rydell came up with the Revolution helmet, it was called, was the first really design change of a helmet, you know, that coming down around the jaw of the helmet that, that Peyton Manning would wear. We actually used the, the, the shut helmet, and one of the reasons we, we like it is this padding inside is, is, um, is it's a TPU foam that actually was developed for the military. Penn State is the research and development team for Nike and has a huge part in testing state-of-the-art future merchandise. Coach Paterno is actually personal friends with Phil Knight, the owner of Nike. And Penn State was one of the original four schools that went with Nike shoes back in 1981. And us being so plain, we'll say, and so simple, uh, it's easy to send our, their, you know, send stuff to us under the radar, you know, plain white, you know, solid blue that can be kind of hidden and tested and not people know. Caldwell says it's a great opportunity for Penn State to be at the forefront of current sports technology and have an integral part in creating the safest and most innovative sportswear and equipment. It's a unique situation, a really unique thing that we can get to see firsthand all the technologies and, and, and get feedback. I mean, they really do listen uh, to you know, our needs and the players' needs and they talk to them and, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great relationship. But it's, it's for all of us to benefit, not only just Penn State, then they'll, you know, gradually then other teams will start using the stuff and then when it, and then it'll, you know, go out and they'll want to sell it even to the high school kids eventually. For the Blue White Tailgate, I'm Tara Berardi.